Selecting polygons in ZBrush can be time consuming and also it can be tough at times. However, if you do this smartly, you can unlock the great world of masking and also polygrouping. So let's see how to do that in chapter six. What happened? I can't sleep. Put this eye mask on. Why? You'll see, just put it on. Okay. All right. So what's your favorite color? Blue. Okay, then let me press Control W. Whoa. Whoa. Now, as we have moved to a new chapter, chapter six in ZBrush, which is about selecting masking and polygroups, by default in ZBrush, models are 100% visible. Everything can be seen at the same time. However, there are times when you want to hide part of the model to make it easier to see another one part, okay? Or maybe you want to make sure that whatever you are doing only affects one selection and not the other one. So for whatever reason, uh, selecting in ZBrush is a must-know feature. So let's see how we can do that. Now, let me zoom in here a little bit on his face. Now, suppose I want to work on, on his face only on the head of his dog. But I don't want to work on the rest of the like body part. So what I can do over here is that I can press Control Shift on my keyboard and it will give me this option. And when I will draw over here, let me go to my front view, Control Shift, and if I will click here outside the screen, and when I will start drawing, you can see a rectangular green color tool is being created so maybe i want to work uh, on this part so as soon i will leave my mouse button okay you will see this now i can leave, uh, lift my fingers over the shift and control so what it gave me is that this part of the dog head and the rest of which was not in the selection is now not visible so suppose if I will go over here and start working on this model of the dog with my standard brush tool, you can see that I'm keep on working on it, okay, affecting this area and maybe on this area, something like that, okay. So I have done some changing over here, some, you know, weird looking changes here. And after, when I'm done, if I want to bring whatever is hidden, I just have to press Control Shift on my keyboard and I have to just click anywhere over here one time and whatever was hidden is now back. Now just notice, when while I was working, it did some changes, but it did the changes only on that part rest of the part is not affected especially you can see on the edges usually try to av avoid working on the edges when you are you know uh, hiding something uh, like you know you're in the hide or unhide mode because you might get some abrupt changes on your uh like uh, edges so try to avoid working on the edges when you are uh, in this mode now, as you know, I just pressed uh, Control Shift, and when I was trying to drawing uh, from the outside, it was giving me this green box. So it's a rectangular selection tool, but you can have another way of uh, hiding or unhiding any uh, object. So suppose if I will go here, my uh, before going over here, let me tell you, my fingers are still on Control and Shift. So if I will leave it, I will not have this option. So I have to press Control and Shift, and then I will go here. Now, once I'm here, I have another way of doing this, and this way, this one is the circular tool. So if I click on this one, it will create a circle over here, okay? And uh, I can select circular, or like, you know, a circular region, and that will be there. Let me undo that. 
Now, one good thing about uh, these two tools, uh, either it is a uh, rectangle or a circle, when you're creating any one of these tool, and maybe I don't want this part, but I have created. So what I can do while I'm dragging, I can also press, my control shift key is already pressed, but I can also press space bar. And when I will press space bar, it will help me to move the selection that I did. And if I want to move here, I will just leave my space bar and keep my drawing, you know, selection over there. And you can do that just like this. Okay. So space bar will allow you to have, uh, you know, move around. The same thing I can do with uh, this one. Okay. Like, uh, like circular tool. I can, with the space bar, I can move it around. Okay. And one more. Let's see the other one here. We have curve tool. So what it will do is that. If I click on my uh, anywhere outside here and drag, you can see that it is creating a curve just like this. Okay, so you can see there is a green uh, line and over the green line, there is some black gradient, faded gradient sort of thing. So it is uh, my shift and control is pressed and when I'm dragging, it's creating a straight line. But if you don't want a straight line, you want some curve, you can, wherever you want the curve, you, uh, you can go at that part, like suppose here, and I can press Alt on my keyboard, it will create a curve like this. And if you want another curve, press Alt again, so it will make another uh, curve, okay? So this way it will work basically, okay? Now let's see another one. So I will go here and I have lasso tool. So I will take the lasso tool and you can see that I can freely draw the way I want my, uh, you know, curve like lasso to be. And if I want to move this with the space bar, I can also move it. So lasso tool free uh, is like a free form tool. And if I'm satisfied, I can move go here and then leave my mouse and then the shift control and uh, shift and control. So this is what I can do. Now, uh if i go back to my rectangle tool over here and while i'm drawing if i will press alt on my keyboard and keep it pressed you can see that now that's not a green that's red now red will do opposite if with the alt key if i will draw with the red box if i will draw something over here and leave my mouse you will notice that thing is gone so with the alt you can do the opposite you can hide the object instead of keeping it on the screen and if you want to go bring it back so again control shift and click anywhere outside here okay so with this you can uh, hide it okay and with this uh, like you can hide the other one and this one you can hide the one which you're drawing on so this is a few ways you can work with this one now suppose i have uh my rectangular tool or any other that you uh, you have suppose let's take a lasso tool and draw shape of the head of this dog here now the shape of the dog is there but what if i want the opposite selection not the face of the dog but the body of the dog so to invert the selection what i can do is that simply i can click and drag over here and leave my mouse with any tool that you have and what it will do is that it will turn the, uh, this into opposite so if i click and drag again it will bring it back okay so uh, like sorry it will do uh, the opposite if you if i click it back so for the inverse uh, like selection inversion you have to just click and drag and then it will invert your uh, selection and if you want to bring everything back so control shift and click Okay, so that's the basics of selecting. Remember, the operation is done through the control and shift keys to select. Control, shift and click and drag in an open area to invert. And control, shift, click once in an open area to bring everything back. So you'll be using this a lot. So keep, in, keep that in mind. And if you will press Alt on your keyboard with all the, uh, with these control and shift, it will do the opposite result. So I hope you have understood about this whole thing and uh, just uh, 
please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet uh, and please click on the bell icon so that you can get all those notifications which I will be posting uh, about those uh, like uh, tutorials and videos which I will be posting in the future and I really admire your support so keep on supporting me I want more and more subscribers which will motivate me to create more and more content so I can teach you all uh, some new courses or full courses complete courses basic of the courses so uh, take care everyone and till then uh, we meet in the next class take care of yourself